Look at these churros. This one here is a matcha churro. You ever seen anything like this before? Wow. These are like the best churros I've ever had in my whole life. And this is a taco shop. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am out here kind of near the Culver City area because as you know, I am continuing on with my Mexican food tour in Los Angeles covering some of the best and most unique Mexican spots that you can find in town. And I am certainly at another hot spot that you need to check out that I've heard so many things about. Behind me in this parking lot called B Taqueria. This is one of the highly rated Mexican restaurants it specializes in tacos, and they got some tostadas and ceviches, but what they're most known for is what's called taco omakase. If you don't know what omakase is, it's basically Japanese coarse meal. They usually do it with sushi, so it kind of has that Asian influence going on here. So I guess it's the most elevated taco experience that you can find. Anyways, if you guys want to see one of the best and most unique Mexican dining experiences that you can have here at this really awesome spot, then you must stick all the way to the end of this episode so that you can get the lowdown on some amazing taqueria food in Los Angeles. And also, if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now, and I'm gonna go in and check out some of this awesome stuff. This is a taqueria that looks unlike a lot of taquerias I've seen in Los Angeles. It almost looks like you walked into somebody's backyard or a shack or something like that. So yeah, basically you come in here, when you come to the right, this is where you place the orders right here. And then the menu is to the left. And uh, look at this, there's all this seating area. When you go to the left-hand side, really it does look like somebody's backyard, maybe in Mexico, I don't know, but there's plenty of it and uh, lights, so probably would be a very nice experience at nighttime. Before we continue on with this episode, I want to let you guys know about an awesome cereal that I discovered the other day called Magic Spoon. It really reminds me of my childhood when I used to watch cartoons on Saturday mornings eating my favorite cereal. 12 grams of protein, 4 to 5 grams of net carbs, 0 grams of sugar, grain free, gluten free, high protein, all that great stuff. And we got cookies and cream, maple waffle, cinnamon, and blueberry. My favorite out of all of these is cinnamon, since I'm kind of a cinnamon type of guy. And for a limited time, you can also get these Magic Spoon cereal bars. You can find flavors like cookies and cream and cocoa peanut butter, zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and four net grams of carbs. And it is delicious. So go to the video description link so that you can get your magic cereal today. And also, if you mention my promo code ROCKSTAR84, you'll get $5 off your order. So go to the video description so that you can order your Magic Spoon cereal today. And with that being said, let's get back to the episode. So much artistry put into crafting these tacos. It's not just grill the tortillas and stuff them and throw them out to the customers. Chef Alejandro and the staff here are really uh, just putting all the great touches to every single taco to make it look uh, not just beautiful, but that it will taste good as well. That's why I'm so excited to try it. Oh, it looks so nice, the way you design it. Very uh, chef-driven. Yeah. Very creative, too. All right, chef, so this is the, some of the popular things that's on your menu, right? Popular things, yeah. Like the, the, the day every day menu, every day menu on the window. That's uh -huh. what you can find over there. All right, so chef, what, what's the first thing we got over here? First thing is the uh, flat meat, uh, the arrachera taco. Uh -huh. It's a steak taco, guacamole on top, and a little bit of uh, salsa, uh, uh, salsa roja. Okay, got it. You know, everybody likes steak tacos, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can't go wrong with tacos, you know, you really... <laughs> of course. But this one is my, my, my personal most favorite one. <laughs> Man, the thing is like the tacos are big, too. Are big, yeah. 
the blue, the, the Macienda, it's a blue corn tortilla. Mm -hmm. It's handmade tortilla, you know? Yeah. Oh, man. It makes it look good. Yeah, so far, I'm off to a good start. So what is the next one we got here? That's the, the slow braised uh, uh, pork taco. Ooh, so okay. It's kind of like carnitas. It's the, the yeah. idea of the carnitas, you know, but it's like a it's like a confit pork uh, yeah. leg that I do with uh, with the uh, pork belly and also with the with the leg. Okay. So. Mm. Man, this is a very tender, rich tasting, flavorful. Pork, you said pork belly, right? Yeah, it's just pork belly and a pork leg, yeah. Oh, wow. And you know, I like the fact that there's so much meat in your Exactly, tube. of course, you know? Yeah. It's what I'm saying, it, it, it's a good taco. It's like if you're at home eating, you mm -hmm. know? It's not like eating on the streets, you know? Wow, okay. Man, you really know how to take care of your customers <laughs> <Exactly>. here. <laughs> so this is gonna be your uh, a tinga, uh, it's a vegetarian taco. It's made with beets uh -huh. instead of like, you know, it's usually, traditionally this is made with uh, with uh, chicken, mm -hmm. the chicken tinga, but okay. I, I made it with beets to make it vegetarian. You know? Okay. I mean, but let me tell you something, that beet is being cooked for like almost at least three hours, like on like slow simmer. Sounds right. With like, yeah, with mm -hmm. like spices and I put like garlic and nachos, mm -hmm. ancho chili, and then I do uh, pasilla chili in there yeah. at the same time, some moritas mm -hmm. and chipotles. It is like the whole stew cooking together for like three hours until the beets gets really tender. Yeah. So the next taco is gonna be the mushroom taco. Uh huh. Well, right now it's it's not uh, summertime, but so but usually it comes with squash blossoms. Yeah. And then uh, mushrooms, a uh, little bit of uh, jalapenos, roasted uh, jalapenos on the grill, and then salsa verde, garlic, epazote, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Yeah. Oh man, there's cheese in there too. It's right? a, okay. the you cheese as well. Okay, got it. Yeah, this is so good. Like the mushrooms are so flavorful. It's um, you know it it chews really nicely. The cheese, oh, of course, it always makes the things taste good here. <laughs> yeah, so far this is. Uh, I don't, should I say it's my favorite? But really, I don't. It, it's the one that I think I didn't really expect. Yeah, yeah, because be <laughs> I never had it before. But I like yeah, it. Yeah, cool. Yeah, nice. this, good job. Yeah, mushroom tacos. <laughs> get it. Taco, mushroom yeah. Tacos, taco. Seriously, <laughs> don't just get the meats. The mushroom tacos is so good too. That's the ham and cheese sandwich. Ham and cheese sandwich. It's quesillo, avocado, beans, you know, tomatoes. And Morita Yoli as well. That's uh -huh. the secret of that one. And okay. with the pasote, yeah, taste it. Taste okay, it. Okay, awesome. Like. Mm. Yeah, no kidding, guys. This is like your perfect ham, cheese, torta, right here, and it has avocados in it too. So if you're coming here and for some reason you don't want tacos. Get a torta because this is big enough for one meal. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, this will definitely fill you up. It's so good too. So my casa is a taco tasting that I do from one to 10 courses. Mm -hmm. And then all those courses are like tacos, ceviches, crudos, whatever is available is what I do. Yeah. So in this one, you will have a with la coche empanada. Uh -huh. So with la coche empanada, with la coche is a fungus that grows in the corn. Mm -hmm. So the, the with la coche itself is blended in there yeah. with a uh, pasote and quesillo. Uh -huh. I use summer truffle cream. Mm -hmm. I put summer truffle cream on the bottom with a uh, uh, green salsa. And then I use uh, uh, truffle carpaccio at the same time on top. And then uh, white truffle oil around. This, every, everything about this is good. It's crispy. The mushrooms are great. It's cheesy. And then the truffle. I mean, how could you not like dislike truffle, right? <laughs> it's, it's really, really good. And so next one. Yeah. It's gonna be a, or a chicken taco. It's a it's a mole. It's a mole chicken taco. Ooh, okay. So it's made with bougainvillea. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> wow, there's so much chicken in here. Yeah, it's definitely a mole. It's a mole. Yeah. On this Mexican food tour, I've had moles like three, four times already. Yeah. So exactly. I'm. Cool. I'm kind of getting used that to that. That is now. my own my own uh, recipe. Mm -hmm. We love to make the uh, bougainvillea. It's amazing. It's mm -hmm. different. No one has done it before. Yeah. So yeah. Oh man, this is so good. Yeah. And uh, I, what I really like are these little leaves that are on top of here. <laughs> That's the bougainvillea, fresh bougainvillea leaves. Yeah. How do you say it? Bougainvillea. Bougainvillea. Yeah. 
So guys, whatever I'm showing you in this episode, it, it's not necessarily what it's going to be when you come in because the chef's going to design the menu. It could be this or it could be something different, but it's part of a 10 course meal, exactly. right? Exactly, okay. exactly. This is another one of the other tacos that we we had on the Omakase. It's a, it's, a, it's a fish taco. Yeah. It's a fish taco on our way, you know? We had a squid ink tortilla, a little bit of a morita yoli with avocado, and then a crispy rice. It's toasted on the furikake. And I use the like I like to use the furikake goma, and then the salmon belly. It's uh, marinated on our housemaid ponzu, mm -hmm. so it's marinated, and then we touch it with a little bit of ginger and yuzu kosho, and then we finish it with the salmon raw, and then uh, we top it with uh, fried charales on top. Uh, what's on top? Charales. I get that thing in English called uh, smells. Oh, smell. Okay, okay. Yeah. smell. Okay. Yeah, I've only bit it into it one time. Only one bite. I can already tell. <laughs> this is my favorite one. <laughs> smelt is so good. And the smelt eggs. Oh, wow. And it's crispy too because of the smelt inside of it. Exactly. Dude, this is like no joke. Because, okay, I'm only having three of the 10 omakase tacos today because I'm, I'm getting kind of full. But I can already tell this is how great the tacos are here. So you definitely need to come here and try this. So now I am on to the desserts. This is Ailee, by the way. <laughs> she is the uh, Alejandro's wife. She made this beautiful this churro platter. Look at how artistic this looks. This is the prettiest <laughs> churro assortment I've ever seen in my oh, whole thank life. Thank you. Thanks so much. So we have the lemon mint churro. Uh huh. Uh, dulce de leche churro. Okay. And matcha churro. Matcha churro. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay, first of all, I want to say the churro itself is really good. <laughs> it's fresh and it's crispy. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Now, I want to talk about the top. Okay. The top is really good. That It's like sour. Yeah. Lemon. Yes. And it's creamy too. Yes, yes, yes. You know, I never would have thought because I've never had churros any other way before. Yeah, just the traditional churro, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to make uh, something different. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good job though. <laughs> So now you want to try the dulce de leche? Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could come back just for the churros. <laughs> yeah, I know. After, uh, um, when I start to do it, so I start to eat it too. Mm -hmm. So every day I need to eat one because it's so delicious. So yeah, yeah, yeah so, so good. Oh, I'm so happy that you like it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm serious. Even if this wasn't a taco shop, if you change it into a churro shop, <laughs> yeah. This will be so good. It'll be like the best churros ever. <laughs> okay, and then we move on to the matcha one. Yeah. <laughs> really, I feel like I'm eating in a Japanese restaurant right now. <laughs> it's so good. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, even if you didn't put any of the sauces on top, the churro itself tastes so good. Thank you. That's why I really like it. But I think the sauce on top is what makes it even better. Thank you. So yeah, basically when you come here, you got to get the tacos, that's for sure. Uh, portobello mushroom tacos, really awesome. Uh, pork tacos, really good. Um, yeah, even the beet tacos are surprisingly good as well. I mean, I, they're so different in their own way that it's so hard to say which of them was really my favorite, but they're all so good in its own way. And another thing that I thought was a really big standout that I didn't expect were the churros. These churros were just so, whoa, they're so mind blowing. Even if this restaurant were a uh, churro makase restaurant, I would totally come back just to have this coarse meal, the churro is so good. So if you guys are in this area in Culver City, kind of more like on the east side, then definitely swing by here because it is really one of the top Mexican dining spots in LA. And especially if you love tacos and churros, then B Taqueria is the place you gotta go. All right, guys, so before I let you guys go, I want to give a shout out once again to the founders here, Alejandro and Ali. Thank you. So when you come to this restaurant, which you will, by the way, um, tell them you saw this episode. They're going to take really good care of you. And they actually have something that they want to give you if you mention the episode, right? Yeah, if you come and mention the episode, we'll, we'll, she will, we'll give you one of our famous, well, one of her famous churros on us, guys. Yes, let me tell you, those churros are so good. So come, because that's a really good <laughs> offer. <laughs> 
Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. Uh, if you like what I'm doing here, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe as well because there's more Mexican food episodes coming out. And comment if you've been here because I love to hear your story. Anyways, hope you have a rocking day today, folks. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.